hi today in this video i want to show you that how we can configure two routers together and then configure their interfaces with ip addresses and then configure rip version to routing between two networks okay in my topology i am going to use network 10 for this area network 30 for this area and the links between two routers i am going to use network 20. now first of all i have to connect these routers with different type of cables so going to use ethernet cable between uh, router and the switch but the main concern is that I have to connect these two routers together by using serial interface to connect these two routers by using serial interface the first of all I have to actually install serial interface ports on these routers because they are they won't have any ports how I can check it okay simple test is uh, if you're not sure that whether serial ports are not there so start okay start the router and start your uh, in it and get into the enable mode then give command show IP interface brief this command will show us the brief information about our interfaces and if there are any IP addresses there what I can see out of out from the output of this uh, command that there is gigabit ethernet and there is gigabit ethernet 01 but there is no serial interface so it means I have to connect my serial interface first now go to the physical and if you can you may your router and you will see there are two empty slots I have to attach I have to use one of the empty slots to install my serial interface let us say I am going to use my slot number 0 to include HWIC 2T module and what, what it is it is a Cisco 2 port serial high speed WAN interface card providing two serial ports if I want to drag and drop here and see what happens drag and drop cannot add a module when the power is on it means I have to switch off the power how look at this power switch on this power switch you can see the green indicator it means power is on click on that switch power is off now drag and drop don't forget to switch on the power again so switch on the power job done let's go to my second router we will do the same thing you mean switch off the power click on serial interface drag and drop switch on the power good if i go to my previous router go to the cli i want to check whether i have serial interfaces or not type no and enable i will do the same command show ip interface brief now you can see I have serial 0, 0, 0 and serial 0, 0, 0001. Interestingly, I want to tell you one more thing. Remember when I drag and drop my serial interface, I drop to slot number 0. So my middle number will indicate my slot. In case if I have drag and dropped that uh, serial interface module to slot number 1, then my serial interface should look like serial 010 and serial 011 so that depends upon that how we connect it let's go further now i'm going to connect my serial interface between these two routers by serial zeros to serial zeros and my first ethernet or gigabit ethernet in this case because i'm using a 1941 router to any of the port maybe I will use gigabit 01 that doesn't make any difference in this topology then from any of the port I will connect to my computer same thing I will do here 
from gigabit 00, I will connect to gigabit 01 of my switch. And then from first port probably from the switch to my computer. But in this topology, it won't make any difference which port of the switch I'm going to use because I'm just uh, configuring as a, a testing topology. But if there is any specific requirement of the design document that you must use a particular port for computer connection, then you have to follow that design document. Okay, now my topology is connected. Now let us start the configuration. First of all, I have to configure IP addresses on my computer. Go to desktop, IPs. So I will prefer to use my 10.0.0.10 .10 IP address here. So I'm going to mask default. Default gateway. I want to use my first IP address as a default gateway, which is 10.0.0.1. Close it. Let's go to my second computer. Go to desktop and configure IP address from network 30 will be 30.0.0.10 and then default gateway first IP address 30.0.0.1. Now only thing I have to do now I have to configure the interfaces on my Router. Okay, let me start with my first router. Okay, first I will configure gigabit zero slash zero interface. So I will go to inter I will go to the config mode first. Config T interface gigabit zero slash zero. IP address is ten dot zero dot zero dot one. Why? Why ten dot zero dot zero dot one? Because I'm using my first IP address in network 10 as a default. And remember, this port on the router will will act like a default gateway for these computers or any computers, any number of computers connected to the switch. Then I have to specify the server mask, which is 255.0.0.0. Next thing, which is very important, I must give command no shut. Why? Because by default, all ports on the routers, they are in the shut mode. We have to make them up by giving that command of no shut. That port is done. Now let us configure serial port. Go to interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. I want to use my first IP address of network 20 for serial 00 on my first router. So I will give IP address of 20.0.0.1 seven mask to 55.0.0.0 give command no shut you will notice after giving command no shut <coughs> that interface link haven't changed from red to green why because the other end is still in the shut mode unless until the both links are up with the command of no shut, they want to become green. Why it became green only by giving no shut command on the gigabit 00? Because the switch ports are never in the shut mode. They are always in no shut mode or on on mode. That's why we have to only give command no shut on gigabit 00 on the routers. Okay, these two uh, interfaces have been configured. Now let's go to my second router CLI remember whenever we start our router the first command it will say would you like to enter the um, initial configuration dialog always say no enable config t pick up my gigabit ethernet uh, interface interface gigabit 0 slash 0 First IP address because that's a default gateway. IP address is 30.0.0.1. Seven mask is 255.0.0.0. Give command no shut. Now I, I will configure my serial interface. Interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. 
IP address. Now I want to give my second IP address of network 20, which is 20.0.0.2. Server mask is 255.0.0.0. Give command no shot. So see, when I will give command no shot here, both links they will become green because it is up from the both sides. Now IP addresses are configured. Now let us see if I can ping from this computer. computer. So let us check the ping from this PC to that PC. Fail. That's good. From this PC to that computer. Yes, successful. It can reach the first router from this PC to the second router. Fail. Why? Because there is no routing. Router will only recognize the directly connected networks, but it won't recognize the remote network without a routing protocol. So I'm going to configure repo version 2 routing. So let's go to the first router. <coughs> Get out of interface configuration mode. Give command router. Then give command version 2 VER. Why? Because we are going to configure RIP version 2. Then just enter the directly connected networks. So which are network 10.0.0.0 and network 20.0.0.0. Same command I will give on my second router. Get out of Interface configuration mode. Router RIP version 2. Network. Now, here on second router, my directly connected networks are network 20 and network 30. Remember, you have to only include directly connected network like 20 and 30. Don't ever include a remote network in that command. Now network 30.0.0.0 and then network 20.0.0. All done. Now let me check if they can ping each other. From this to that. Yes, try again. From this PC to that PC. Yes, it is working. If I want to see the routing table of this router, control Z to get out of the configuration mode, give command show IP route. So IP RO. Now it will show me the routing table. So this is the routing table of my I have directly connected 10 network over there directly connected 20 network there and I have got a one remote network which is 30 via okay, via IP address of uh, 20002 what is 20002 that indicate the IP address of the next router's port what do you meaning of 120 that's the administra administrative distance of RIP what do you meaning of number one it is one router away or one hope away Okay, because network 30 from first router's view, it's one router away. It is after crossing one router. How do you learn this serial S000 that refer to first router's local port, not the second router. The second router's port IP address should be there, but the port identity or port number is referred to its own port which port is used to get to network 30. What is the meaning of this? So it means it has been 12 seconds since these two routers have shared their routing, routing table. Now if I will give that command again, then what happens? This timer is different, 20 seconds. If I want to give it again, it will be more than 26. Do it again, probably it will uh, go back to zero or something like that. Now it's six. Why? Because every 30 seconds, this timer reset to zero. 
now this conclude the tutorial on how to set up two routers together and how to configure the ripper routing protocol now in my next video i will show you how to use other routing protocols like eigrp or ospf stay tuned